All right, Niner Nation, we're coming down the home stretch here on Panning for Gold this week. Another jam pack edition for you. Of course, new headlines. Garrett Biedenbaugh is here with the weekend weather update. We also hit the golf links. That's right, the 49er Golf Club outing was this past week. We were out there with the camera, got some interviews and some great footage. All of that and much, much more coming up around the bend. Panning for Gold starts right now. All right, Niner Nation, almost time to cue up that wonderful beat music. But first, a little preview of what's to come on headlines this week, where we will talk 49er track and field, football groundbreaking, PFG's final farewell, and much, much more. You're not going to want to miss it. The beat starts right now. We got Kev Bow in the cue cards this week, and as I speak, our 49er football coaching staff is feverishly out on the recruiting trail, doing their thing, trying to get football players to bring their talents to the QC and play in what should be a ta Taj Mahal of a stadium, a really nice stadium. And speaking of which, in arguably the biggest day in our athletic department's history, we will break ground in less than a week, less than seven days. This thing, this stadium starts coming together uh, right out there on the hills uh, behind lot 23 and behind the baseball stadium. We all want Niner Nation to be a part of it. Call off work, skip school, pretend to be sick, do what you need to do, as I like to say, and be down there at lot 23 behind the baseball stadium for the groundbreaking ceremonies, tailgating, food, fun, and uh, maybe bring out a football, throw a little long to toss uh, between a couple friends. I don't know, the shindig starts at 3.30, but why not get there at noon? Heck, get there at eight in the morning, why not? Just tailgate all day. The long range forecast uh, is calling for rain via weather.com, but let's be honest, if these guys are as accurate as Garrett is, uh, they certainly will not be raining on that day. It's probably gonna be 70 degrees and sunshine. So uh, let's uh, let's cross our fingers and hope we have good weather out there, but uh, certainly, certainly should be a marvelous, marvelous event. Hope to see thousands and thousands of members of Niner Nation out there. That was the officially the longest headline in PFG history, by the way, as we roll light, right along here with a note about this very show. Yes, can I have a drum roll, please? That is the production crew at their finest. We have just two more episodes of Panning for Gold remaining. You have got to be kidding me. Why? Come on. I know, I know, I know. It's true, it's true. Just two more episodes left. We'll have our final episode. Well, we'll have an episode next week, of course, and our final show will be on Thursday, May 5th. Uh, right now, I really wish you could see the production staff. Uh, they are weeping behind this camera. And it uh, will be an emotional day for all, I'm sure. But yes, just two more episodes left of Panic for Gold. But I promise the season finale will not be nearly as disappointing as Lost. And moving on in the headline, yes, this show might uh, be ending soon, but our Twitter account will still be active. It will be alive and well. Follow us at Panning for Gold 2. We'll tweet, uh, we tweet about the show, sports, news, favorite color jelly beans, all sorts of stuff. So be sure to give us a follow. We'll be sure to continue that throughout the summer. And be sure to check out the 49ers on Facebook. The official Facebook fan page has like over 6,000 likes or something. So let's get that up a little bit and get everything you need right there. It's uh, 49ers news. And of course, uh, you can leave comments of your own on these articles as well. So it's a great little interaction there with Niner Nation. This weekend, the 49ers are hosting a track and field meet. That's right, down at Transamerica Field, the throwers, the hurdlers, the sprinters, the pole vaulters will all be competing in the 2011 Charlotte Invitational. I've confirmed that Darius Law will be running, and uh, also the Incredible Hulk, Jake Deaton, I'm sure will probably break his own school record yet again in the discus throw. All of them, or both of them, and much, much more, of course. Niner Nation, swing by. Uh, show your support. They only have a couple home meets a year. Not saying you have to stay all day if you can only make it for 20 minutes. No big deal. There's always something going on at these track meets. I've been to a few of them, and uh, there's always seemingly something happening, whether it be the pole vaulters or the sprinters or the uh, throwers. You'll always have something to watch out there at Transamerica Field, so be sure 
to, to head out there this weekend. Last week, Coach Alan Major and Brad Lambert took a day away from recruiting Office Life and their sports to build a playground at local Winding Spring Elementary School. It was a community event uh, that included members of the Carolina Panthers. Uh, of course, their front office was there and the Charlotte City leaders were also involved. PFG was on the scene, caught up with some of the coaches as they got dirty building uh, the kids a jungle gym. And let's check out that beautiful video footage. First and foremost, why don't, you, why don't you explain what uh, what what we're all doing out here? This is kind of a great event. Yeah, it's a it's a playground build for uh, Winding Springs Elementary School, and, and uh, just about every walk of life out here helping out. From especially if you got myself and Coach Lambert out here, they'll take anybody. Yeah, we've got a uh, playground build going on for for the children here at the elementary school, and just glad to be a part of it. Glad they invited us out. So it's a lot of fun. It's been fun. Uh, and, and, Coach Lambert and I actually went into a couple of classrooms and just shared what we do and, and uh, got the kids jacked up about their, their new playground. Well, we talked to the kids just about being on a team and being a good teammate and encouraging other people. And that's the great thing we love about football. It's the ultimate team game. So we kind of shared that with the children. I just basically tell them a little bit about what I do, you know, coaching basketball, but really just tried to share with them, uh, you know, the importance of having character, uh, just living their lives the right way. And, how every, all that's going to translate into them being good students and good little brothers and sisters. Not afraid to get down and dirty out here. You're putting together some some of this playground. You're you're getting dirty. Yeah, we got assigned to a group, so we want to build on this thing. And yeah, you know, if you're going to be here, you might as well work hard. That's for sure. Let's talk a little bit about what's going on in your world down there in basketball. Yeah, and uh, lifting weights three days a week, uh, individual workouts two days a week. But no, they're they're doing a good job. Uh, you know, we're competing a little bit. You know, when we're on the floor. Of that, and they're just trying to wrap up some recruiting. You know, hopefully they get another guy or two before uh, before summer hits. Talk about the ground groundbreaking that's going to happen at the end of the month. Yeah, we want everybody to come out. That's going to be an exciting time for us because, as I said, you know, it's a reality now. But when you start moving dirt and building buildings, that's an exciting time for for our fans, our students, and the recruits that are out there. So they're going to have a chance to see us really, really working on our stadium now. All right, I hope you enjoyed that video footage of uh, the Winding Springs Elementary Playground Bill. It was a lot of fun. Coach Lambert, Coach Major had a blast, I'm sure. And now we roll on here on Panning for Gold. Time for everybody's favorite portion of the week. We call it... Highlights! Of the week. And uh, let's cue up that beautiful athletic accomplishment. For this highlight of the week, we head down to the softball diamond. That's Bree Gwaltney, and she can hit the ball a long ways. Crushed that pitch from the Fordham hurler. Wow, the 10th home run of the season for Bree. We're going to take a look at it again here in a second, but look at this celebration at home plate. Some type of dance. I'm not sure what that is, but slow motion. Bree extending. Oh, my goodness, she crushed it. And just we're going to freeze frame there. That's the ball over the batting cages over the left field fence. That is, uh, that, that's very impressive. Brianna Gwaltney with the 10th home run of the season. Unfortunately, the Niners would drop a pair of games to the Rams, but that is your highlight of the week, a monster home run by Brie Gwaltney. Our PFG in-house meteorologist is on the scene. Garrett Biedenbaugh has your weekend weather update, and there must not be as much pollen in the air this week because he sounds much better than he did a week ago. I'm still not buying that whole pollen excuse for having a sore throat. Anyway, Garrett, what's our weekend weather update? Thanks, AJ. Garrett Beatonball here with your weekend weather update. Yeah, thanks to that pollen where we, a bunch of people had uh, some sore throats last weekend. But hey, this weekend's looking better with that rain coming in on Friday. It could affect uh, baseball and some track maybe, but hopefully we'll be able to get those games in for you here on the campus of UNC Charlotte. We'll have high temperatures reaching in the upper 60s. we Will be hard to break 70 on Friday, but hey, maybe we can. For your Saturday, mostly cloudy skies. There could be a stray pop-up thunderstorm uh, just the way it is with the uh, high temperatures reaching the low 80s. And for your Sunday, happy Easter, by the way, on Sunday, mostly sunny skies with the highs in the lower 80s. That's a check of your weekend weather update. I'm Garrett Beatonball. Now back to you, AJ. Ah, yes, forgot to wish everybody a happy Easter, but uh, Garrett, thank you for that weekend weather update. We're going to roll the dice. Hopefully the weather stays away. Somewhat nice for this weekend. I sure hope so. Uh, but Garrett, as always, appreciate you with that. We'll take a short break. When we come back, we have footage from the 49er Club golf outing earlier this week. 
caught up with Coach Lambert, we caught up with Judy Rose as well. Some great stuff up around the bend. Don't go anywhere. It began with a few pushing for more, fighting for the chance to play, dreaming to bring college football to Charlotte. And like the city itself, tell us we can't, and we will. Knock us down and watch us get up. With the home crowd advantage, a game of inches became a game of us. We've always had the team. And now, we have our coach. Thank you, Chancellor. As a coach, you do a lot of talking, but you can't just talk a good game. You've got to get out there and make things happen. Get results, which is exactly what I plan to do. I'm Brad Lambert, the new head coach of the Charlotte 49ers football team, and I can't tell you what an honor it is to be a part of this university. Many of you have probably never run out of a tunnel onto the field or caught a pass for the winning touchdown, but all of you are our players, and this is your moment. It's your chance to make history, to leave your legacy. Football is coming to UNC Charlotte. It's not a dream, it's a reality. The stadium plans are approved, the field house is starting construction, and in 2012, we'll have our first 49er football class. Now you just have to make sure you're there as a part of our team. Become a founding member. Purchase your 49er seat license today before we sell out. Then get ready to tailgate, to face paint, to yell, to cheer, to stand up, to fight, to be heard. Get ready to kick off 2013. And you're watching Standard for Gold on Charlotte49ers.com. Talk a little bit about what's going on here today. Golf. It's our annual fundraiser and sellout event. 34th annual uh, golf outing sponsored by Ortho Carolina. We're really enjoying the golf and a lot of fun for us to be out here and, and meet some more people who, who love the 49ers. Great day. Brandon and Chris, other assistant coaches, so they're out recruiting. <laughs> I'm here having a good time, but uh, this is a great event. I've been coming to it for 19 years. Brandon and Chris, it's a good deal. Really good deal. This event's got a little extra sizzle to it. It really is, and, and I know that Brad Lambert is playing with the folks from Bank of America, and we've got our, our offensive coordinator playing, and uh, the other coaches were here early on. Yeah, it's a lot of fun for us. Like a lot of events we went to, you know, it's uh, you know, meeting new guys and some more people and got, getting involved in the program. So we're excited. Just let them get, get to know us a little bit. I saw Coach Mullen out here. He was swinging a big stick. He's not afraid to hammer that ball. No, he's not. He swings hard. He's going to call. That's why he's going to call plays for us. Real aggressive. So we like it when he swings hard. Special thanks to Ortho Carolina as well, the title sponsor. Oh, absolutely. They they have been the sponsor for this for the last I don't know how many years, but we can't thank them enough as as the presenting sponsor. And then we have other sponsors as well. So uh, thanks to everyone that makes this happen. It benefits our scholarship fund for our student athletes. The spring is a very busy time for the athletic foundation starting today with the golf outing. Um, and then of course we have the groundbreaking in the uh, football stadium uh, on the 28th, which we're gearing up for that. And then we'll round out the year with uh, our Great Gold Rush auction in June. On um, the season, obviously a tough weekend for you in St. Louis, but uh, uh, back at home this week, I just talked a little bit about the, the season. Playing at a high level for a long time. And we just, we didn't play very well on Saturday. Played okay yesterday, but St. Louis was hot. You know, we just got to get back to practice. It's going to be good for us to practice on Tuesday because we need to work on some things and address some issues and get ready for Central on Wednesday and play at home. I was going to ask you, how are you playing? Oh, not very well. My team's playing well, though. That's a good thing. We're trying to keep it in the fairway right now. We need to tee it up a little higher, I would think, yeah, for your liking. Real high. But we're having, we're having a good – they're giving me – they're keeping me relaxed. He was looking for a four-foot tee. <laughs> he, he needs him a tee right about here and he'd be set.